<laughs> Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, out on another walk. And with me is Harriet and Lola. Hello, Lola. There we are. <laughs> we get the obligatory lick. Hello. Yes, hello. How are you, Harriet? I'm all right, thank you. It's a bit chilly, isn't it? It is chilly. We're out on a Put very chilly, grey January day. Put the old dog down there um, beneath this oak tree that is in front of us. Where are we today with our little walk in the Shropshire countryside, Harriet? Uh, we are in a village called yes. Upton Magna, which is just off the old A5, um, but near Atting no, near Atcham, sorry, near Attingham Park in Atcham. Um, it's about two, three miles outside Shrewsbury, on the way to Telford. Yes, now there's a pub um, behind us there, in the distance, you can, it's called the Horman now, but it used to be called... Corbett Arms. The Corbett Arms for a yes. long, long time. But there, there, there's another Corbett Arms, isn't there? Yes, Close to about, Uffington or something. About two miles away. <laughs> yeah, so that, I bet there was a lot of confusion. The reason that we've come to Upton Magna, Magna. <laughs> um, which I always seem to have trouble um, pronouncing, at Upton Mag Magna, is because um, there is, allegedly, According to their local website, uh, local history website, the oldest freestanding timber-framed Britain, uh, timber-framed <laughs> building in Britain. Did oh. you know that? Uh, yes, because you told me earlier, but no. I didn't know that before. All oh, right, <laughs> smart ass. No, I didn't mean to be smart ass. <laughs> and uh, the um, <laughs> thank you, the the the. Uh, it, the building apparently dates back, the woodwork dates back to 1269. Oh, that is a long way. That is a long way. That yes. is very, very old. I didn't so, know that. Uh, and, oh, yes, and of course what I meant to say was in all that uh, silliness was not just in Britain, but in Europe. Oh, right. Oh, OK. Um, the oldest freestanding timber frame building in Europe. That's quite significant. Yeah, so that's uh, one of the things. And, of course, it's about two and a half miles from Shrewsbury. Yes. And as you can see on this dark grim day, it is a very um, very beautiful, quiet little village. And here oh, on, that's lovely. on our right is the old school. Let's just have a quick look at it. I'll just take the camera up over there and poke it over the hedge that's there. That's lovely, isn't it? It's converted into a house now. Yeah. They're... Um, I think it, it, the village is, it would have been a, a farming community um, back in its day. Yes. But um, I believe that there are uh, you know, much, much older um, backgrounds to it. And in fact, there was, although you can't see anything now, not far from here, about half a mile well, away, a, uh, the, well, as I say, there's nothing there, but there was a tree circle. A tree circle is like a stone circle, like Stonehenge, but I think they believe them to be older than Stonehenge. Gosh. So, um, yeah. So how old is that then? Well, uh, I think Stonehenge is something like 3,000 years old, isn't it? Right. I may be wrong. Now, I think this is, I'm not sure which one, there's two of these cottages in front of us, and they're very, very pretty, but one of them is a Cruck cottage. Oh, it must be the one on the left, I think. Both but with um, thatched roofs. <laughs> both with fat, thatched roofs. Beautiful cottages, which we often drive past this way when we're going up towards Horman Hill, we which do. is just behind them. Oh, this is a crap cottage. Oh, this is, the, this is the one. That's the one. So you can't really see much of it. I'm just going to poke down there, drive a little bit. <laughs> so we can't see too much, and I daren't encroach, of course, because <laughs> that's trespass. Yeah, so there it is. So just looking at that, because it's all quite very modern, um, or clean, I guess, and, and the wood is preserved, it doesn't look like it's um, as old as it might be. Here is a, another beautiful timber frame building, um, but painted in this black, which that black is uh, a fairly modern thing. I think the Victorians were up for all of that, but originally, of course, it wouldn't have been anything like that at all. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around. It's quite a big cottage. It's not a little higgledy piggledy tiny one. No. And it, it, it's, yeah, it's quite amazing. It is. It's lovely. Oh. Is this the sort of village that you'd like to live Very in? Very much so, yes. If, if you had the I cash. I would love it. <laughs> Do you think... Because um, it's close enough to Shrewsbury. 
Um, but yeah. yeah, it's in the country, in the little village. I'd love it. To <laughs> Do you think to live here now, if you were to buy, you'd have to be a millionaire? No, I don't think so, no. Oh, really? No, not at all. Oh, right. Oh, OK. So on our left now, coming through the village, is St. Lucy's the church. Yeah. Um, and I can't tell you when that dates back to, but I imagine that um, it's, it will date back pretty far because the village is, is pretty old. Um, that's a perpendicular tower, that's <laughs> what I do know. And of course it would have seen many uh, changes over the years, but um, unfortunately in the grey setting it doesn't look as beautiful as perhaps it could do with fresh sunlight and flowers in the graveyard and what have you. But um, oh, Sorry, two more old, and then very old cottages. They stand out, Houses. don't they? <laughs> you know, these, these old timber-framed cottages, they really stick out when you see them, the white and the black. Um, and you can see this one heading up in front of us has got rather a lot of timber in it. I mean, there's oh, lots yeah. of those black uh, in struts on the inside. And that was a sign of wealth. Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't know that. That was a way that somebody would show off when they had those, because timber was expensive. That the, oh. the, the, the get those straight, thick bits of timber was relatively expensive. And uh, so the more you've got on there on display, the more you're saying, I'm a person of substance. Oh, right, OK. So this was a person of some substance. <laughs> and here are some oh. funny-looking things of substance, some sheep. Look at those. Staring at us as we walk past. Are they, are they eating turnips? Is that what Turnips or yeah. Swedes, or yes. Swedes. Yeah. And that's what they, they eat in the, um, in in the, the winter. winter. And not yeah. enough lush grass. So this is Church Farm here. Um, we'll go round in a circle, shall we? Yeah. And head, head back. But uh, yeah, Church Farm just on our, on our right. Some beautiful old buildings. And then down this well, little... I've never been down here before. <laughs> no, this is, this is very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Even though it's freezing cold, it's so, it's cold. so grey. And I've got your gloves on. And your, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, not at all. We can flood here, I don't know if we get. I haven't got ah. walking boots on. Oh, we might, there's, we might be able to just get round the side of it. But very quiet, very quiet um, little village. Now, of course, back in the day, um, back in the ooh, 18th century, I think, Upton Magna was um, very important for ironworks here. Was it? Yeah. And uh, in fact, Thomas Telford I was has say, a. Is that, was there a connection with Thomas Telford? Yes, very yeah. much so. You know Anglesey. Yes. There's a bridge that goes over yes, Anglesey. Yes, there is. Yes. Do you know what it's called? Oh. Is it the Menai over the Menai Strait? It's I think probably it's the, the Menai. Yes. The Menai Bridge. Menai Bridge. Yeah, that sounds right. That's yes. Yeah. So um, here, um, where I don't know exactly where the foundry was because I believe there's not very much left of it now but the links to the big chains that hold the Menai bridge up were forged here in this what you know you think now is a tiny little very yeah, quiet very little quiet. remote yeah. village oh. so uh, yeah, oh, we come in a circle I think so yeah we come back up to the crux oh crux, I see yes little um, circle there yeah yeah passing the the church on our left there now, we've, all we've done really is just walk around the church, which is beautiful. Simple little walk on a cold little day. And here on my left, this you know, impressive wall yeah. with a walled garden and uh, probably something behind, a secret garden perhaps behind this, this door, or maybe not. So coming back, here's the lich gate to the, the church. Just have a look there into the through the lich gate at the church in the background there, and there it is. How lovely! And then we come back and uh, we're back at the uh, at the cottages. So, and I th looking at that. Just one, oh no, I was going to say, I thought that was a London plain, but it isn't a London plain. I've been looking at trees recently <laughs> and trying to name them, but it isn't. But anyway, there we are. 
But what gets me is we had a whole load of signposts down there and here, just to end the video, another whole load, I'm going to show you this, whole load of, of signposts, uh, finger posts pointing in all sorts of directions. Um, Uffington, Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury, Whitchurch, Summerwood, Astley, Roddingham, Atcham, Wellington, loads of, loads of interesting places. We're going to head back and get into the warm somewhere now, Harriet. Good plan. <laughs> Very good plan. So thank you for taking mm. me to Upton Magna. <laughs> well and done. we will see you on another walk in the future. Until then, thanks keep, very much. Keep warm. <laughs> yeah, keep warm for sure. Bye for now. Bye.